look right through him. Prospector. Skinny little feller. Them bones ain't hardly as big as my little finger. Let me see it. Apache. Apache country, ain't it? There are a few Apaches around here. Mostly they're farther south. And that's all we need. We'll run into some crazy Indians. All this country around here like this? Pretty much. Up north are lots of canyons and draws. If you know which ones are open. Those hills over there back right up into the mountains. Those are salt flats down south. <laughs> Even a rattlesnake couldn't get across them. She's got any plans after she gets through riding that horse. <laughs> <laughs> What'll it be? Well, there's a whiskey saloon, ain't it? We got whiskey. And we'll have whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> Beat it. Give him one. It ain't necessary. They tell me this town was full of Confederate sympathizers during the war, is that right? There was some secessions here. I was a Union man myself. You ask anybody, they'll tell you. Well, what about the marshal? He a Union man too? I never ask a man his politics. Where is he now? Around. No, I ain't. He's out putting up tax warrants. I seen him go. You fellas planning on being in town long? Depends on what you got to offer. Depends on what you got on your mind, Sonny. Where you keep your water? There's a well out back. Let's fill them up, all of them. I'll take care of my own. <clears throat> Hand me another bottle of that. A full one. Yes, sir. I sure would like to know what she plans to do after she gets through riding that horse. <laughs> <laughs> down, everybody. Why don't you do like he said? Never mind you. Open it up.
Just like robbing a kid's piggy bank. I kind of like that town. Nice and obliging. Go! Save us a trouble of hanging them. Them garrison soldiers just can't take country like this. Maybe they've got sense. Mighty inconsiderate of old Jed get himself killed like that. He owed me six bits. I'd feel a lot better if there were seven of us instead of six. This desert's a mighty unlucky place. A man needs all the odds he can get. Hey, that reminds me. Hadn't we better be starting back? Back where? Where we come from? Right into the loving arms of the army. Are you crazy? Well, that's a good 70 miles across this sink. Maybe more. It's just a place. A place can be crossed. Speak for yourself. I'm easing back as soon as it's dark. Well, that's up to you. As your share. Make your choice. come to this. But I guess I'm going to have to trade some whiskey for some water.
Ain't nobody gonna trade me some water for a good swig of real nice whiskey? Leave go of his canteen. And cut it out. You two. You shouldn't ought to have done that, Stretch. You might have hurt me. The way they hurt. If I didn't know better, I'd say it was going to rain. up here. Kind of noble, aren't you? A horse is a useful animal. No use letting him suffer just because he belongs to a jackass. Looks like he's not the only jackass on this trip. I told you we'd never make it. Nobody said you had to come. Huh. Old Wallace here's got nearly a thousand dollars in his pocket. Can't even buy himself a drink of water. Don't that beat the devil? Look at that old lizard there. He's better off than you, Wallace. Yes, sir. He better off. That ain't right. You got no call to do that. What's eating you? Just a lizard? It wasn't doing you no hurt. What'd you have to kill it for? Well, of all the... Say, what's got into you anyhow? A lizard. Shut up. All this fuss over one little lizard. 
If I don't get some water pretty soon, I'm just going to fall down and die. Yeah, it looks that way. I think I see a town over there. It is a town. I can see it. I can see it. It's a town. Water. Water. It's a dead one. A ghost. Just come in across the sink. We need water bad. There's a spring here, but you'll never make it. You just point it out. We'll make it. It's up behind those big rocks, at the head of the street.
Anybody home? What about me coming in for a minute? Stay where you are. What you scared of? Nothing. What are you carrying that gun for? Ain't nobody gonna shoot nobody. What do you want? Something to eat. How long are you going to stay here? Four or five days, maybe. Hard to say. If it ain't far to Alkali, you can make it easy if you try. Horses need rest. <laughs> so do we. I ain't got enough in the house to feed six men. Well, we got money, if that's what's bothering you. I don't want your money. I just want you to get out of here. We aim to. Meanwhile, we can't live on fresh air. Now, listen, lady, I don't know why I'm standing here arguing with you. There's six of us, and we usually take what we want. Not from around here. All right, lady. That's the way you feel about it. I don't like women who act so high. Well, you dirty little... I wouldn't go stirring up no trouble with that girl if I was you, young fella. Quite a punch you got there, ma'am. Come in mighty handy when you get married. You're right, son. She's as tough as a pine nut. Well, she ought to be. She was raised with Apaches. Apaches? Yeah. Fine people, if you understand them. Any of them around here? Oh, from time to time. Come on, Grandpa. Just a minute. What about that food? We get it peaceful? Or don't we? Well, we might arrange for one night, Mike. <laughs> Seeing what a lean belly he's got. I'll send a couple of the boys up after it. He shouldn't have given in to him like that, Grandpa. I know what I'm doing. Don't feed him. Right away they begin suspicion. <laughs> you act as if nothing had happened and leave this to me. What are you going to all that trouble for, dude? You ain't hardly seen her yet. He's seen her all right. Of course, it was kind of worm's eye view, him right at her feet eating dust. What do you reckon a girl like her is doing anyway, living in a town like this? Well, the old man's a prospector, most likely. A little loony. Lots of old timers like him all through these hills. Yeah, but her! Somebody's got to look after the old fool. Hmm, look.
Kind of cute looking, ain't she? Right nice swing to them hips, too. Yeah. When she tucks in that shirt. Better let me help you with that bucket, man. Looks heavy. I can manage. Just the same, ma'am. Somebody ought to help you carry that bucket up to the house. Well, now, wait a minute, lady. You don't mean you'd shoot a big, handsome fellow like me. <laughs> you got to shoot somebody. Why, pick on Half Pint or Walrus. They don't amount to nothing, no how. I told you once. Well, as long as I'm going your way, anyhow. You heard what she said. Sit down. But I was just... Shut up. I got a right to... Shut up. You gotta hit some people in the head with an axe. Now listen, all of you, I'm figuring on laying up here for three or four days. The horses get their legs back, and I don't want any unnecessary trouble. Stay away from those people. Listen. You ain't. Yes, I am. I ain't talking just to hear my own voice. I'm ordering you. If I catch any of you messing around that house, somebody's gonna get hurt. Is that clear? That include you, too? That includes everybody. It's an old saloon down the other end of the town. A little bunk in it. Gets kind of cold around here at night. Still tonight. Ain't it? I wonder what dude's up to. Brother, am I sure gonna throw a shoe if he gets any place with that gal? What I saw, she'll tear him in two if he tries anything. What are you doing here? I was looking for one of my men. I told you, if anybody came up here, he was liable to get shot. I wish you wouldn't keep pointing that thing at me. Women well, got no business carrying guns. They have to shoot somebody they don't mean to. Not me. You know, if you was prettied up a bit, you might look almost like a female. Yeah. <laughs> 
just wanted to show you how safe you'd be if I really wanted to get rough. You smell. Even Apaches are cleaner than you. Or you. Didn't anybody ever tell you before that you smell bad? Nothing, Grandpa. I just, just caught someone prowling around out here. Did you get him good? Maybe I should have. <laughs> good thing she can shoot as straight as she can, young fella. Most women would have lost their heads at a time like this, and you'd have been done for. Ain't every girl can miss that close. On purpose. Do you need any help? No. Better be getting back on inside, honey. Ain't likely he'll bother anybody else tonight. He's gonna be kind of dizzy. <laughs> Mike, how'd you come to shoot him? I don't know. He grabbed me. It made me feel... I don't know. I wish I'd let him die of thirst when he came here. What are you doing up there? I was looking for you. I guess you didn't hear what I said about staying away from that girl. <laughs> Looks like you didn't even hear it yourself. Anyhow, I wasn't bothering about her. I was just nosing around, following a hunch. Now, what kind of a hunch? Gold. It doesn't make sense, that old man and a girl like her living up here just for their health. Sure enough, they've got half a dozen cradles and a big sluice box down in the canyon. Well, how do you know it's not just old equipment left around here like everything else? Because there's a shack down there, too. Apache's been living in it. I could smell him the minute I opened the door. Strong as a fox's den. Oh. Suppose I have found some gold, what of it? Too much money laying around in banks for us to worry about any little dab they got. Maybe it isn't so little. Uh, anyhow, we're not sticking around to find out. We're moving on as soon as the horses are fit. Well, uh, I don't know about you, but uh, I'm getting a little tired of all this robbery business. I've got a bullet floating around in me right here. Some tin horn gambler who yelled like a stuck pig because he dropped a few hundred dollars. Claimed he'd been cheated. Which he had, but that's neither here nor there. I don't know if I ever told you, but I used to have a big faro layout in San Juan. Best looking woman in camp waiting on me hand and foot. And bang. Along comes this tin horn, puts a bullet in me. When I got on my feet again, the money was all gone. Her, too. She lit out with a fellow who ended up beating her. <laughs> Which wasn't a bad idea, either. As for me, I was just a down-at-the-heel sharper with one bad lung looking for a stake. But I told him I'd come back. Loaded. That's why I joined up with you. Maybe now's the time. 
Not interested. Just thought I'd mention it. Need any help getting back to bed? I'm staying here for the rest of the night. I'll send a kid with your saddle and blanket. By the way, that woman I was telling you about in San Juan, her name was Lucy. This girl kind of reminds me of her. Same figure. I had a horse, his name was Bill, and when he ran, he couldn't stand still, he ran away one day. And also I ran with him. Oh, now, wait a minute, boss. I ain't doing nothing none of the rest of them ain't doing. What's that? Looking for the old man's gold, like dude said. Where are the old man and the girl? They're up in the hill somewhere. They lit out as soon as they heard us coming. Put that down and come with me. All right, boss. All right. Get in there where I can see what you're doing. Fellas figure you got a new boss, eh? We want that gold, Ed. Dude said you wasn't interested. So he took a vote and decided the dude's the leader. Is that it? It just happens that votes don't mean a thing to me. You want to get rid of me, you've got to run me out. You ain't got no objections to being rich, have you? We ain't arguing about that now. We're talking about who's boss. Personally, I don't care who's boss. Long as we get that gold. Now you're talking. No sense banging away like that, Mike. He just used enough good bullets. I could just get one of them. It might change their minds. Looks like they got gold, all right. Yeah, that's what we've been telling you. Let's get it. My way, understand. It got mighty hot up on that hill after a while. 
and two will get good and thirsty. All we gotta do is sit tight. Sit tight? Like a bunch of scared rabbits? Well, there's six of us. Let's root them out. Go ahead. It couldn't be that you're worrying about somebody else getting killed, could it? You and Link, they get in the house. See if you can find out where they got the ammunition hid. Since they couldn't carry it all up there. You and Bull Run look around the barn. Mighty hot sun. Almost tempts a man to drink water. Claire, there's one of them waving a flag of truce. <laughs> Trying everything, I guess. It don't seem exactly right to shoot a man waving a white flag, Mike. I'll teach them to come around here chasing us out of our house. Wait till he gets up a little closer. You can always get him if he gets nasty. That's close enough! The only white shirt we got in the outfit belongs to Dude. He's kind of particular, don't want to get it dirty. Look, I shaved. Changed my shirt, too. Smell like a lily. Even comb my hair. Right around the parts you gave me. What do you want? I thought maybe you and me could make a deal. There's only one deal we'll make with you. Get out of Yellow Sky and stay out, or we'll shoot the lot of you. And bullets of yours ain't gonna last forever. We found your ammunition. As soon as you use up the ones you got, my boys are gonna come up and get you. At least you won't be among them. Oh, don't a flag of truce mean nothing to you? With thieves like you? Now, nobody's gonna hurt you if they can help it. But we know you got gold and we're gonna get it. Now, come on back to the house and tell us where it's hid. Maybe we'll cut you in for some. You might as well be comfortable while you're getting robbed. Ask him what kind of a deal. You can't make a deal with him, Grandpa. 50 is better than nothing. Anyhow, it don't do no harm to ask. Sit down and keep your hands inside. We haven't made up our minds yet what we're gonna do with you. Get down! Double-crossing. Grandpa! Grandpa. Oh. oh, I gotta get you back to the house. I was bleeding bad. Oh, I've bled before. Oh. oh. Hold your fire, they're giving up. Bull Runner Walrus, get up there. Somebody's been hit. Sure hope it ain't that girl. I got a different future picked out for her. I've seen a lot of worse than that. Didn't even break no bone. Don't look like you got no lead to probe for, neither. That's right. Just got a hole in my leg. Uh, 
Uh, probing is usually a two-quart job. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to excuse us, man. You see, we're used to men getting shot. And the boys just haven't stopped to remember that this is your grandfather and the only one you've got. Look, why don't you go? Can't you see he wants to go to sleep? I think we ought to get this deal of ours settled right now. Where's the gold? He can't talk now. Tomorrow, when he's feeling better, he'll tell you anything you want to know. All right, Mike. We might as well get it over with. But, Grandpa, you're not... If we don't, the first thing you know, they'll be twisting my arm for me. Did you ever have a fella twist your arm for you? It don't feel so good. Get me my pipe. I don't suppose it'd do any good to tell you boys we haven't got any gold. Yeah, that's what I thought. You'd just keep hunting for it until you made a nuisance of yourself, until somebody got killed. Now, wouldn't you? <laughs> suppose I admit that we have got some gold. But don't tell you where it is. Now, you wouldn't do a mean thing like that to us, would you, Grandpa? Let me give you boys a little history of things. About 15 years ago, heavy silver was hit here in Yellow Sky. <laughs> Town boomed overnight. Me and Mike here, oh, she was just a baby then. I was a young fellow myself. Not a day over 60. <laughs> well, we was late getting here and didn't manage to put our hands on anything worthwhile anyhow. So it didn't matter one way or the other of us when the veins pinched out. Well, it was right hard going for us for a while. But we finally hit on what we were looking for. Pretty soon, we hired us two or three young Apaches from the old chief, Colorado. <laughs> and then things began to hum. You know, I've been smoking a pipe for 60 years. <laughs> I'm still having trouble with my puffer. <laughs> yeah. What was I talking about? Gold. Oh, yes. Yes, it's a mighty dangerous thing. If you want it out of plum greediness. I've seen it ruin many a man. Because I, I had good reasons for wanting it myself. Now, Mike here, I, I'm the only one she's got. So, you see, I, I wanted to see her took good care of before I died. And come to the point. What about our deal? What's your idea of a deal? Depends on how much you got. Well, now, counting the dust, Don't I... Don't tell him, Grandpa. Don't tell him anything more. Well, Mike, I thought... I had to do up. something. I couldn't let you stay up there and die. Now, listen, ma'am. I've been trying to be patient with that you. That money's yours, Grandpa. I know how hard you worked and sweated for it. They got no right to it. Of course, you can't understand that, can you? Because you're no good. None of you. You're just born takers. You still haven't said how much you got. It ain't just the money. Look at him. He's an old man. All he's dreamed about is seeing this town come to life again. With people living here and working and, and stores open. The stage coming through from Alkali. And all because of him and what he'd done. You see, Mike, they don't even know what you're talking about. How about 
How much? Fifty thousand. Fifty thousand dollars? Around that. I think maybe we can do business. Where is it? Go show him, Mike. in the mouth of that old silver mine up under those big rocks. When you came here this morning, we went up and knocked out a few timbers. It's buried now. If you want it, you'll have to dig for it. Want it? Feels like it's broke. From now on, I'm sticking to robbing banks. You sure don't catch that old dude doing no work. Oh, he wouldn't be no good no how. That lung of his. Besides, somebody's got to keep your eye on the girl and the old man, don't they? That's what's bothering me. They keep you close and I. Why don't you shut up about that girl? Once you get your hands on all this gold, she won't look no better than a broken down squall. Well, that's a lie. She'll never look anything but pretty. Well, of all the... You too? Nobody up. He hit me and I'm gonna give it to him. Good. Fellas, just won't listen to me, will you? It wasn't my fault. She came down here swinging herself pretty fancy. I'll leave it to Wallace. That's right, boss. Looks like she was just asking for trouble. From now on, stay away from my men. And stop swinging your hips all over the place. I don't know 
what you're so sore about. She's just a girl. I ain't gonna argue about it. Afternoon? No. You're mad at me. No, I ain't mad at nobody. Just thinking, huh? That house up there. Keeps reminding me of our place back home in Ohio. I can just see my mama now standing on the back porch. Calling me to come in from whatever I was doing. My old man, yelling at me to wash your hands for supper, Luke, doggone it. And all of us sitting down, and him saying grace. Poor boy. I was afraid that was it. You're in love. I got a right to remember, haven't I? Sure. Um. Sad and I'm lonely. My heart, it will break. Let me go. Why? Oh, I thought you was enjoying it. We got no business kissing each other. You and me. Look here, lady. This ain't something you argue about. No. 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 What's the matter? Where are you going? Inside. Grandpa be missing me. 
He can't be in that much of a hurry. His leg hurts him. He's worried. What about? You running off with all the gold and leaving us nothing. I gave him my word, didn't I? Yeah. Your word. See how you're getting along. Sit down. Uh, I thought maybe it might ease your mind some about that gold if you knew something about me. What kind of something? Well, that I come from good people. When I give my word, I mean it. My folks is all farmers, sound stock. We moved to Kansas from Indiana when I was about two years old. Folks went through all the worst of the border war. Old man come pretty near getting killed by some of Quantrill's men. Seems like I had a gun in my hand ever since I was about so high. Somebody always shooting at us. Or us shooting at them. Either chasing somebody or getting chased. And a few years ago, along come an epidemic. My old man died. More too. Of course, I was off in the army by then. Which side? Blue pants. I'm always sure a stickler for religion. Church is about 10 miles away, but she used to go every Sunday, winter or summer. I remember one Sunday, her and me almost got lost in a blizzard. I could read the Bible by the time I was seven years old. We used to have one of them big, thick ones with all the family births and deaths and marriages in it. Why are you telling us all this? I'm just sort of talking. I've been giving that deal of ours a little thought, and uh, I figured maybe with you laid up here and all, you're getting kind of worried about it. All I can say is that I'm sticking to it 100%. I've seen some mighty big liars in my time. Now, if you ain't telling the truth. That's a Bible there, ain't it? Yes. I ain't seen one in years. I hereby swear on this good book that I'm going through with our deal, to the letter. Well, young man, if you don't mean it, I don't see no point in you coming here blaspheming. Shake on it. I guess I better be going. Dawson's mine. James Dawson. Uh, I guess the war has upset a lot of those boys and set them off on the wrong foot. You know, I've seen a lot worse fellas than him keep their word. I'll put out your light now, Grandpa. Stand for you, go to sleep.
Let's get it. Come on. Come on. Oh, we've been so. Maybe the sacks are buried around here somewhere. Here's one of them. Here it is. I've got it. some new clothes. Hey, look. What's that? Holy Moses. Apaches. Like that old man wasn't as loony as we figured. Yeah. Let us dig his gold out for him. And then his Indians show up just when we find it. Maybe those folks are worse off than we are. Oh, shut up, you jape. They told us them Apaches was friends of theirs, didn't they? We're sure gonna be mighty rich corpses. Maybe they're waiting for sunup. Indians always like sunup. We better try to find out what they're going to do. Wait a minute. What about all that gold? You carry it. Maybe you fellas are giving up on that gold, but I ain't. I want it now to just plain on meanness. Stay here. Quite a little powwow. Yeah. Apaches like to hear themselves talk. Looks like they ain't the only ones around here. All right, turn them loose on us. They may finish us, but we'll get our share of them before they do. Do you think I'd turn crazy drunk Apaches loose on you? They're friends of yours, ain't they? Why, yes, but I... You sent for them, didn't you? Well, did you or didn't you? 
why I didn't know they was within 50 miles of here. So some of the boys that used to work for me slipped in here last night. Seems like they'd had some trouble over at the reservation. They were out to kill. Took a lot of coaxing on my part, but I finally got them to promise to bring the big chief here to talk to me. You know, he's an old friend of mine. <laughs> I just got through telling them that if they went back to the reservation and behaved themselves, I'd talk to the Indian agent myself and have their troubles took care of. <laughs> took a heap of arguing on my part. That's what they're gonna do. What about us? I, uh, I told them you was working for me. Stretch, give the old man a good talking to. He's a great one for making deals. It's that honest face of his. One look at him and you say, by gum, there's an honest thief. <laughs> <laughs> for all we know, they'll be back. So let's stop shooting off our mouths and start loading this gold. I wouldn't be in too big a hurry about that if I was you. Where'd you come from? I told you to meet me behind them rocks. You didn't do it. Well, you see, dude here. I'm giving the orders around here. We'll talk about that later. Right now, we want to know what those Indians are up to. The old man told him to move out. For good? <laughs> he must have been shot in the head, not the leg. Well, come on, let's load up and get. Just a minute. Before we talk about loading, there's one thing I want to get straight. What about our deal with the old man? Well, what about it? There's a fortune in there. Enough for everybody, including the old man and the girl. <laughs> now it comes. Up to last night, I figured the same way you fellas did. I was just trying to save us a lot of trouble when I said we'd split 50-50. If it hadn't been for them Apaches coming in, maybe I'd still feel the same. But the old man played it square, stuck to his bargain. If it hadn't been for that, we'd all be laying around here dead right now. Whether you like it or not, we're giving them their full share. If that don't suit you, you've got a fight on your hands and you better get at it quick. It's a free country, ain't it? Majority rules. I say we take a vote on it. I told you once before I don't like votes. We busted our backs digging this stuff out, boss. We've been scared off by Indians, shot at by an old desert rat and that he girl of his. Blow down your guns. It's five to one. Nobody's anxious to see you dead, Stretch, but we want that gold. And we want all of it. There's plenty more left here. If that girl and the old man want it, they can dig for it. I've waited all my life to make a killing like this, and I'm not giving half my share to anybody. He says, because we're going to play billiards with you till we run you out of them rocks. Then we're going to pick you off like a turkey. Fan out, we got to flank it. But I don't think... Who cares what you think? You're in this hour, they like it or not.
you doing running around here? You're hurt. Get out. Hey, can you make it to the house? I gotta get their horses. The horses are already in the barn. Ah, we had him. That fool girl. Almost fill us full of holes with that buffalo gun of hers. Come on, let's go back and load up and get out of here. And spend the rest of your days waiting for Stretch to stick a gun in your back? Not me. I'm not leaving till we get him. I want to sleep nights. See it your way, eh? Yeah. We figured that was it. Yeah. Grandpa, you shouldn't get out of bed. Oh, a lot healthier down here. Hard to say with me not there to tell him. You got yourself quite a granddaughter, Mister. Yeah. I know that. It's her future that's worrying me. say about it. He's gold crazy. Can't tell about Lengthy. He's got other things on his mind. You, Walrus, Bull Run, cover the back door. I told Half Pint to take the front door as soon as he gets back. I'll cover the window. If he comes out, let him have it. Wait a minute. Everybody starts giving orders around here. Let's get one thing settled. I got first call on that girl, understand? Ah, who cares about her? I do. All right, go ahead and take her. All I want is that gold. Come on, let's go. Stretch! You listening? We know that if we try to blast you out, some of us are gonna get hurt. On the other hand, if we run off with the gold and leave you still alive, 
We've got sense enough to know that you'll keep looking until you find us. So we've decided to do what you wanted. Split with the old man and the girl. Of course, it's not exactly what we'd like to do, but you can't have everything. What do you say? Keep it. door. That suits me. Come on in. Did you get him? Yeah, I'm sure we did. I saw him fall. I got Bull Run with me. He's bleeding something awful. This ain't no trick, ma'am. I got it in the belly. Looks like the kid's done for. Let him in. Bring him in. I thought you was dead. Well, he was wrong. coming here in the first place. What are they going to try next? I guess they ain't going to try nothing but get each other and win or take all. Where are they now? Dude took a shot at length. They tried to get him in the back of the head just when he thought he'd got you. Then he let out for town. Lengthy after him. I guess they didn't figure out what's worth bothering about. Where are the horses? Down the saloon, where we left the gold. Half pints covering the front door. Tell them to get in here. to share that goal with nobody. Me and Bull Run is in here. Keep your hands up and come on in.
Get over there on this floor. Where are you going, boss? Where do you think? Now, you stay here, Mike.
Grandpa! 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 we took. That doesn't matter. You can have it. Uh, how much did you pay for it? Four dollars. Oh, uh, thanks. And he has my hat. Here they come, Grandpa! Well? We did it. So help me, it hurt, but we did it. I paid for it. <laughs> 